In this tutorial, you'll learn how to implement a death screen with a respawn button into your Roblox game. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing we need to do is make the player unable to respawn automatically. To do this, head to players, find a respawn time property and spam nines into it. After a short while, hit enter, and the value should change to infinite. Now head to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. Before we continue, let's change some properties. First, make sure these two properties are toggled on. If you already have multiple UI elements in your game, I would recommend setting this property value to something high, so the death screen will display on top. We can start creating our death screen now, feel free to customize it as much as you like. Essentially though, you'll need a frame and a button in it. To finish setting up your death screen, make the frame invisible. To actually make the respawn button work, we'll need two scripts. One to register player's death and button activation, the other to actually handle the player respawn. First, insert a remote event into replicated storage and rename it to character respawn. This object will allow the scripts to communicate. Go back to our frame and insert a local script into it, then copy my code, I'll explain everything in a second. We first create all the necessary variables, including the frame and button, player, character and humanoid, and lastly the remote event. Then, we create a function that triggers when the player dies, which simply makes the frame visible. Next up is a function that triggers when the player presses the respawn button. It fires the event that will notify our second script. We're done with the first script. Now move to server script service and insert a script into it. Again, copy my code and I'll explain everything in a moment. First, we create a variable for the remote event. This function listens for a signal from that event, which will be received after the button is pressed. Then, we check if the player exists and if their character is loaded. If so, we respawn the player by loading their character again. That's all. And as you can see, the scripts work together like a charm. Thank you all for watching and see you soon again.